In the past 20 years or so uh, that Moodle has existed, we've grown a huge community of educators and developers who've been collaborating on building this learning platform that we all use to empower educators. And so we have so many features in Moodle that address all kinds of niches in education. One thing that's resulted in is in a system that has a lot of features. And our main challenge right now is to, how do you present all those features and use all those features in a really effective way? Uh, how do we make Moodle easy to use? And that's the challenge we've taken on with Moodle 4. So 4.0 is the, our first release at this new interface that uh, makes it easier to navigate around Moodle, to uh, use all these different features, to build a, a really effective classroom. And you're going to see that going forward into 4.1 and 4.2 as we continue doubling down on that user experience and bringing all of this great work from the past 20 years together. Moodle 4.0 is a significant step change from previous releases. Moodle has evolved over many years and Moodle 4.0 is a redesign that really puts the end user and their experience at the center. We've listened to the Moodle community and our users and they told us that while Moodle allows them to do anything they need, there was room to improve the overall experience of the platform. Based on this feedback, we launched extensive research activities to discover the reasons behind this and determine where and how we can best help our users. We collected data from surveys, workshops and user testing with the help of our community. And from that, we identified a number of key areas that became priorities for us to improve. The most exciting changes focus on the experience of both educators and learners. And I want to highlight the main aspects. Firstly, we reimagined the way users navigate around Moodle to make it easy, quick and intuitive. Both educators and learners told us that they need to quickly navigate around the site and between Moodle courses. Moodle 4.0 helps them do exactly that, with the new navigation at a site level and at a platform level, as well as within the course and inside course activities. By using consistent navigation patterns, we bring clarity and by only showing the most commonly used items, we make it easy to find what you need, while power users will still be able to access advanced features. Secondly, we have redefined the course experience to make it easier for educators to create and edit courses and for learners to understand what they need to do and what they need to prioritize to complete their coursework. A key new feature is the course index, which gives a course outline and allows users to quickly navigate to any part of the course with a single click. And we've improved the course page structure and the way activities are presented. Importantly, we are showing key activity dates and key to-dos to help students know what to do next. We've given Moodle 4.0 a fresh new look that is clean, more spacious and modern, including some really nice new activity icons. All of this together results in a completely new Moodle experience, which is incredibly exciting. And that's not all. There are many other improvements and new features. For example, the introduction of a report builder engine. This is a great improvement that originates from Moodle Workplace and has now been included in Moodle LMS. Many of our users have been asking for this, starting with system reports and custom reports from predefined data sources, for example, user tables and course tables. This reporting engine will allow us to make reporting more consistent and powerful across all of Moodle. It's a really big change. We've also integrated a teaching web conference solution, Big Blue Button. This long-term Moodle certified integration is now available with Moodle out of the box. It's a video conferencing solution made by teachers for teachers and includes tools such as whiteboards, breakout rooms, polls, meeting recordings, and analytics. It's an important tool providing additional means to collaborate online. We've also continued our work on accessibility. For Moodle 4.0, screen reader accessibility of Moodle's text editor has been improved. This is a project proposed and funded by the Moodle User Association. Projects like these confirm Moodle's ongoing commitment to providing an accessible and inclusive learning experience for all. Another key improvement that I want to mention is that we have expanded Moodle support for LTI 1.3 Advantage. 
LTI stands for Learning Tools Interoperability. And this IMS standard enables seamless integration of any learning application that supports LTI into Moodle. LTI 1.3 Advantage offers improved security and includes support for syncing grades and results back to Moodle and sharing of roster and enrollment information. Moodle 4 can now both operate as a host or a provider of LTI content for other platforms and as a consumer that receives LTI content from another host. This is a great step forward in our support of this important standard. Thanks to our wonderful Moodle community and one of our Moodle partners, we also see a number of significant improvements in quiz and question bank. We've added the ability to see how often questions are used, question performance statistics, and question version tracking. This is a project initiated by a number of large universities who proudly use Moodle and help us to improve the platform. It really shows the power of open source. tool for as long as I've been using Moodle, talking about plans to change the UI can make you a little nervous. In exploring Moodle 4.0, though, my trepidation has turned to excitement as I've realized how much the new UI really has to offer. What's kind of amazing to me is how the changes are significant and subtle all at the same time. On the one hand, there's this degree of familiarity so I can find things, I know where things are, a lot of things that haven't changed. At the same time, however, they've also figured out a way to make things cleaner and easier to get to. My first impressions of Moodle 4.0 were a little deceiving. I didn't immediately pick up on all of the nuanced improvements. It hit home for me, though, one day as I went from checking out the new 4.0 features into a meeting with a client. It was interesting to watch them navigate their 3.11 site, trying to use the breadcrumb trail to get where they wanted to go, hesitating as they tried to figure out which link to use and not ending up where they intended. And all I could think is how they had solved this in Moto 4.0, how much easier this was going to be, because the long breadcrumb trail is now a thing of the past. As I continue to dig a little bit deeper into 4.0, I continue to find all of these really subtle yet impactful changes. For example, in the current Moodle experience, the path from one activity to the next is not always easy. And ultimately, learners spend time trying to navigate rather than learning. Moodle 4.0 has solved this by turning the left navigation into a table of contents for the course. Every topic, every activity is available in one click from that one menu, no matter where you are. Plus, the learner can also tell from that table of contents what they've completed and what they haven't. I think learners will also appreciate how the new UI makes it really easy to know where you are without having to parse the breadcrumb trail. The activity icons also create a sense of continuity as they appear on the course page and carry through into the activity pages. The other thing I like is the ability to manage the scroll. Topics can now be collapsed or expanded both on the course page and in the table of contents. So when I or a learner wrap up one topic, I can collapse it in the table of contents to make it easier to focus on the things I still need to do. I think teachers are really going to love the quicker, easier access to tools they use every day too. First of all, the turn editing on button has now been changed into a switch that makes it much easier to tell whether editing is on or off. Plus, the button is in the same place, no matter the page you're on, so you never have to go back to the course page just to turn the editing on, as has sometimes been the case with features and plugins you might be using. The other thing that I'm loving from the teaching side of things is the quick, easy access to everything that used to be hidden under the course settings menu. Now there are links to the participants list, course settings, gradebook, and reports right at the top of the course page. All the things that I use to teach a course are now one less click away. Finally, as I think about the overall layout and all of the factors that go into making beautiful and effective courses, I'm struck by how a few other minor changes are going to make doing that so much easier. For example, the width of the page now only goes so far. This constraint is going to make reading easier, means I spend less time formatting content to ensure that text is more readable. I could go on, new icons, nice navigational links in the header, 
and the visibility of activity due dates and completion tracking. There is so much here and I've only skimmed the surface. I really just can't wait to start using it with clients. It was a rewarding and challenging project, but we had an advantage, which was uh, the Moodle community. The community has played a major role in this, in this project from early stages. We have not made any decision without research and consultation through focus groups, surveys, and user testing. In particular, the Moodle community, you know, developers, administrators, teachers, trainers, learners, they have helped us to identify the most critical friction points and prioritize enhancements. And we have continued this engagement until last phases of QA testing. We wouldn't have achieved this milestone without them. The main focus of Moodle 4 has been to improve the navigation for educators and learners. You know, the, the create a course workflow for teachers and the do a course workflow for students. To do that, we had to reshape the platform structure almost completely, but we have done so in a way that ensures that current Moodle users are also capable of using the new system without going through the learning process all over again. And the community help us a lot at that point by sharing their deep understanding of how Moodle works in the real world. Making Moodle easy for newcomers without excluding the current users was the most time-consuming task. However, we are confident that we set a solid ground for many more improvements that will keep coming over Moodle for lifespan. lifespan.